it may be a foggy day out, yet I enjoy helping you find your way around Second Life. So let's have a look at the world map. Click it to open the world map and here we go. You'll notice right up here there's two tabs, Objects and Terrain. Objects shows all the resident created amazing stuff in world and terrain is just sort of a naked view where it's just the land masses and give it a while, it can take a while to load the map. It's really taking a while, there we go. And as you can see it's more bare, ah our logo back to objects and objects shows what's below 400 meters so if you have a really high skybox it's not going to show up you can click and drag to zoom you can also use your mouse's scroll wheel if you got one and this here is the legend you and it shows which direction you're oriented and the cone of vision home my home is in grasmere and this will teleport you home you can toggle to show and hide various things like classifieds. Oh, that doesn't work. I remember that should be removed. Person is all the green dots, other residents, avatars in Second Life. Info Hub is the mainland welcome areas. Telehub, I almost always keep off. Actually, I always do because it looks so cluttered. Ah, uh, no point to keeping that on, really. Not going to tell you much new information. Data visualization, friends. In addition, you can see your friends who are online. You can teleport over to them by selecting their name if you want to do. Hey, Jessica, where she's at. <laughs> My landmark shows your list of landmarks. I really should clean that up. Okay, and you can select a region to search for it. If I type in sandbox, for example, show all the regions and begin with the word sandbox. And then once you picked one, you can go ahead and teleport. And copy slow to clipboard. I have a more advanced tutorial on this. Go ahead and look for it. I'm going to go ahead now and use the world map to travel. Thank <laughs> you.